Coming up, we are looking at the Multiflow Generation 2 solar water pump. The pumps just landed in the country and uh, we are doing a quick video to look at the main features and what is different from Generation 1. Stay tuned for more information. Welcome to Solar School by Cedar Solar. Today we are looking at the Multiflow AC-DC hybrid solar water pump. These pumps have been um, available in the country for the last two to three years and we've received a lot of feedback on the pumps and decided to upgrade a few features and we have just launched the Generation 2 models. It is a Multiflow Pen 110 and a Multiflow Dio 200. The Pen 110 can work up to a total dynamic head of 110 meters. The DO200 can work up to a total dynamic head of 200 meters. There are two main changes uh, or improvements that we've made to these pumps, and I'll go over that in a second. But first, what is the multi-flow range? The multi-flow range is a solar water pump that works with both AC and DC power sources. So DC power source is your solar panels. That is how most solar water pumps work. But what is nice about the AC-DC hybrid range is that you can also use an AC power source, which would be a generator or ESCOM, if that is available. Uh, we all know at the moment that is in short supply. This gives you flexibility and enables you to pump water when uh, there's a bit of cloudy weather around for a few days. Um, and also, if you would like to pump more water at night, if your demand changes, you can get extra water by pumping at night using your AC power source. So the two main changes we've made is, firstly, we've removed the internal controller that that's, was between the motor and the wet end. And what this internal controller was actually submerged in the water. We've decided to take this and build an external intelligent controller. The main reason we did this is um, obviously we are in South Africa and thunderstorms are a common occurrence. This change will improve the reliability of the uh, multi-flow range. Also, it will be easier to diagnose problems. With the internal motor controller, the pump might just be dead and you have to troubleshoot, but you are working a bit blind. But with this external controller, there will be error codes and you will be able to see if something goes wrong with the pump and then pinpoint the issue. So this is what the external controller looks like. Uh, it's got a pretty simple interface. All your data will be displayed here on the top. For instance, your voltage, amperage, wattage, etc. You can see which power source feeds the pump at any point in time, DC, AC, or both. And then you can see if your well or tank uh, sensors are activated or not. The second uh, upgrade is that this pump has true hybrid functionality. The previous pump uh, switched between AC and DC, so it would usually be running on solar panels and late in the afternoon if your voltage drops lower than a certain point, then the AC power would kick in. Um, so it would be either DC or AC. With the new pump, it can actually blend power sources. I think the big advantage here is, yes, 95% of the time you will be pumping water using the power of the sun but if you do get that week of cloudy weather and you may be not getting uh, exactly the amount of water you need you can then use your generator or escom to just boost the pumping and get more water we have just finished digitizing the pump curves of these two models we uploaded it into our online app um, for those of you that don't know we have an online sizing app that our installers use to size solar water pumps what is nice about this uh, online app is that it actually incorporates 20 years of uh, local weather data, like in the area where you are, and also works out pipe friction loss, etc. So it takes the guesswork out of choosing a solar water pump. It also then gives you uh, data on how this pump is going to perform in your specific borehole based on your borehole specifications. So this helps you a lot with planning. You can see exactly how the pump will perform each day as well as each month. So if depending on which area you are, you can ensure that you size the pump so that you get enough water for each month of the year. If you go to cedarsolar.com, uh, you can click on sizing tools. There's a form where you can fill in your borrel information. We will put you in touch with your local installer or reseller 
and uh, we will provide you with a free pumping report. Music